Welcome back, people. So today we are going to be talking about R packages. So what is an R package? An R package is basically like an app for the Apple Store, but it's for statistics people and it's for R. R, very much like Apple, has made it very easy for package developers like myself to add functionality to the existing R framework. Because sometimes the analysis that you want to do might be brand new and nobody's invented it yet. So a package developer might come along and say, hey, somebody needs to invent a package for this. And then they might invent a package. And then they might put it on R's network. And then you might be able to use it. How amazing is that? That's amazing. And then that gives you the freedom to download these packages so that you could use them in your own analysis. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's cool. We got some packages. So how do you download them? Well, there's two ways that I'm going to show you. One is through what's called CRAN or CAR or uh, the Comprehensive R Archive Network. And the other is through GitHub. So I'll start by showing you how to download an R package off of CRAN. So here we are in my desktop. And what you can do to install a package from CRAN is type in something like install.packages open parentheses, open quote, and then the name of the package. So just for practice and as an example, we're going to install the DevTools package. So you may be wondering, what is the DevTools package? Well, it's a package that was developed for developers like myself that makes it easier for them to create and publish our packages. Most of you aren't ever going to use any feature of this except for the one, which is what I'm going to show you in a little bit, which allows you to install packages from GitHub instead of from CRAN. So if all went well, you should see a screen that says something like this, the downloaded binary packages are in and then some location, and that's great. So in addition to installing the package, it's just like in the app store, you can install a package, but that doesn't mean that you can necessarily use it. You have to actually touch the button of the app in order to use it. And likewise in R, in order to make it available to use, you have to type require dev tools. Or another way you could do it is library, oops. Dev tools. What's the difference? Well, don't worry about the difference. Either one of those will work for your purposes. So now that makes dev tools available to use. So that's the first way we can install in our packages by using install.packages and then open parentheses, open quote, the name of the package. And that's great if the package developer has posted it in on ours network. Unfortunately, R has very, very rigid rules about the packages that they allow on their website. And it's a very tedious process to make uh, your package available in R. And so there are some developers like me who kind of get sick of catering to R's network. Nothing wrong with R's network, but I just get sick of all the requirements that they have. So I usually just post mine on GitHub. And so the second way I'm gonna show you is how to install an R package from GitHub. So in order to do that, it requires the DevTools package. Fortunately for you and I, we have already loaded the DevTools and installed the install the DevTools package. Now, once you have done that, you can type in install underscore GitHub, which again is a DevTools function. Open parentheses, open quote, and then the location of the GitHub repository you're trying to download. So for me, I'm going to do Dustin5 forward slash flexplot. And why is that? Because we are going to use the flexplot package very heavily. Now for me, when I ran this, it said skipping install, basically because this is the second time I've recorded this video because I screwed something up the first time. Yay. So basically it's giving me a message saying, hey, you already got the re most recent version. But for the rest of you, if you're doing this for the first time, you'll see something else. And hopefully it should run through the process and install a uh, flexplot for you. And then once you've done that, just as you did before, you can say require or library flexplot. And that's all you have to do to install an R package from CRAN or from GitHub. Isn't that easy? So with that, let's conclude this very short video with two learning objectives. Number one, know what R packages are. And again, like I said before, they're basically like apps for the app store. There are different features developers have made that you can add to R to make them available for you to do your analysis. And second, know the two ways of downloading an R package. One is through CRAN using the install.packages, but that only works if the developer has put their package on R. Otherwise, you'll have to do the DevTools function install underscore GitHub, and then the name of the GitHub repository. In this example, we use the Flexplot package. So with that, peace out.